started talking to them and they were saying that if, uh, if I was interested in the bus and if I wasn't, the thing was going to the junkyard. Yeah. Hi guys, it's Leah from Combi Life and this is our 73 Volkswagen bus that we are restoring to drive across the world. I know a lot of you think that we're pretty crazy. We have so much ahead of us and we've only just begun. Our Combi just underwent a huge transformation going from a desert bus to this. All with the help of this guy Skinner and his crew at Skinner Classics. But that's not what this video is about. If you want to go see that transformation, go click that link and it will take you to that video. In this video, we are going to take you through the yard of the Volkswagen hunter, Robert Skinner. We call him that because he has literally hunted down the most unique Volkswagen buses we have ever seen. So stay tuned for that, that is all coming up. Chocolate tour bus, 62 Combi. This bus came from an Indian reservation up north and it was gonna be burned wow. in a fire pit. <laughs> wow. And it got saved. And so uh, since then we've put on, I don't know how many thousands of miles. We hand out chocolate when we drive yeah. around. We actually have packages of chocolate. Yeah. We give it to kids and throw chocolate out, little Hershey kisses and stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, it's fun. I like it even Cause we're like chocolate. <laughs> we got chocolate. So, so I got into the Volkswagen scene uh, based on a VW bus that I seen when I was 15 years old in Alameda, California. I went down to the family's house. I knocked on their door and this old man answered the door and he said, hey, you know, how can I help you? And I said, that bus, I, I really, I want a Volkswagen bus. I really like that bus. You know, I just never got my hands on it until recently. <laughs> so this particular bus right here that we're working on today, 65, 21 window micro bus. And this is the bus I was knocking on these people's door when I was 15 years old. Small world. We, now we both live in Vacaville. This bus lives in Vacaville and I'm restoring the bus. <laughs> yeah. So how ironic is that? after uh, 30 something years that uh, I actually get to work on the bus and do a full restoration from head to toe. We've already done the undercarriage on this thing. Today, we're uh, stripping the interior, getting these uh, windows out so we can move on to the, the lower half's done, but now we're gonna move on to the upper half. So we're getting real close. Well, for me personally, you know, I've watched the progress of the VW bus from the early 80s to now in 2018, you know, go from free to astronomical prices. Um, but for me myself, you know, I've been recovering buses for 30 plus years. And at one point where people were like, get them off my property today, where we're paying very high prices for buses. Well, here it is y'all. This barn actually fell down around this bus. I was just told and uh, didn't get any damage at all. We had made the decision to pick up this 23 window in Upper State, New York. We had already had planned for my 50th birthday a 30-day road trip around the country. But after I had made plans and all these arrangements, he came in with, oh, I got a bus to pick up in Upper State, New York. When we got there, my decision was, when I seen it, that this thing was in such great shape overall that we're going to uh well, it's going to be your new do, daily driver we're going to do preservation yeah. work on it instead of more of a restoration it's more preservation of what we have so the trip was still the same but it included a huge truck and a what 50 foot long trailer which made it a little difficult to uh go to the fancy hotels <laughs> 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 the bus he's always wanted i mean seriously he's always wanted this bus well, who doesn't want an early 23 <laughs> window, right? Please belong to me, girl, please, girl. I just want to let you know, won't let you go. Please belong to me. So here's the Fast Times bus. What's the Fast Times bus? Oh, So let's, uh, you want to see inside? Yeah, yeah let's take inside. a look. Oh, check this out. This is awesome. 
So how did you come to own the Fast Times bus? Well, um, it, it went up for a private sale. It's, it's a little more extensive story, but to keep it short, I pretty much told them, this bus is not leaving California. And then I made an offer on it, and I told them if my offer is not good enough, I'm gonna find somebody with even more money, and this bus is not leaving California, period. It's staying right here. And I brought it into the shop, and I hid it for a year. And so we did preservation work on this thing for one year before letting anybody see it or anybody even know about it. We would close the shop at five o'clock, and after 5 p.m., I'd put curtains on the front windows, and I'd pull this bus out, and I'd work on it for two, three hours, and put it back, and start on it again the next day. And I think we should sit inside here and enjoy it for a yeah, minute. Yeah, let's check it out. <sighs> Oh, yeah, man. that's one of the most comfortable spots for sure. Everything that is in here right now, it's what took us a year to match everything. We went through five sets of curtains to try to match up the correct curtains. We had a picture of the original door open on the side panel and we put curtains up on our door and we would put the pictures together and look at them and go, nope, that don't match. That's not a good match of this, you know, the leopard skin. And we just shit can that program and get rid of that material. and took us five times to get where we are today. <laughs> this bus was used after the movie uh, and driven to high school for four years, which yeah. was pretty cool. Imagine <laughs> having this as your ride to go to school. Right? <laughs> well, it was still the early 80s, you know, so to speak, and I'm sure it was still an experience. What, no, are the, what were these things worth back then? Nothing. Nothing? Pretty much. It was just a cheap van. Yeah, yeah, they were dirt cheap. And now? Now this thing's a very expensive bus today. <laughs> very expensive, yeah. Not too many kids driving split screen buses to high school now. Not many, not many at all. But I have one really great story for you about this bus, my ironic part of this bus, which is, you know, this bus, the movie came out in 1982. I was 16 years old and by three months, th three, four months later, I own my first bus, which is a 66 panel bus. This bus in this movie is what kind of pushed me forward to get my own bus. And it was very uh, influential on me as, you know, the movie. And uh, what's just so ironic about it is today is that this bus got me into buses and today I own this bus. Yeah. It's not just one bus. This bus gave you a sickness for Volkswagens. It did. A weakness. It did. It did. <laughs> this thing started a rash of, of a crazy addiction of VW buses. It's awesome to see that you are involved in this Volkswagen restoration thing, but not. It's you can see that it's not just a business. You know, it's it's a part of who you are. You have a uh, like a deep love for the Volkswagens, and like these are the you're the kind of person that we really like to connect with. You know. Um, because you you understand it. It's it's not just a vehicle. It's there's some something behind it that represents a lot to a lot of people. Correct. That's true. Very true. Skinner, this is not. You can't say this is an unusual bus. This is multiple unusual buses. What the heck are we looking at here? We are looking at four buses in one. This is four buses. This is four buses. <laughs> The reason it's four buses, we've, it's been lengthened by four feet, so it's got uh, it's 17 feet long now. And the upper roof section is two combi clips, so it's got an ass end of a roof clip here, but also the front part is also the ass end of another bus. So that's a roof off a bus, a roof off a bus, the rear of a whole 13 window deluxe right here that attached to the original 67 combi that this started off as. <laughs> You've got to see this. So it's got 18 pop-out windows in it. We're using it for storage right now, a little bit of storage, but. Whoa, it's freaking tall. Yeah, lots of headroom. Yeah. We're going to cut a rag top in this room. Big, huge bed, full length bed's going to be here in the back. Yeah, you could have um, a full size bed out all the time. You could yep. have a sofa there. Yep. You could have a table. You could have hammocks hanging up. You could have a kids section up here. Yes, yes. You could even open up the roof and, and utilize like, you're going to open up the roof at all? We're going to put a 120 inch rag top. That's 10 foot long rag top. So it's going to all open right up. All of it's going to open up huge. Sounds awesome. Oh. Yeah. I think it'll be uh, a, an amazing, bus to take an adventure in for sure yeah 
I can't wait. This bus is an adventure in itself. Here they go. This yeah. thing, this is special. It is. It's got 18 pop-out windows. Okay, right. This thing's gonna have some serious airflow. This is the question I have to ask you, though. Would you build something like this? I could not build this bus today for what I paid for the bus. What do you mean? Um, in other words, for me to cut up four buses in 2018, yeah, would be a lot of money. More money than you bought this for. Oh yeah, That's... probably triple. So this sort of thing could not be replicated again unless someone was going to spend a lot of money that makes it even more unique not only is it a one a one of a kind it's very unlikely that there'll be a something like this again it, it would get very costly definitely yeah you'd have to have a lot of buses to cut up awesome. to do a project like this i wouldn't cut up four of my buses to build this today so you know originally this bus uh i looked at it at one point and i I backed away from it. I said, no, I don't know. About a month later, somebody sent me a link to a Craigslist ad for this bus. I looked at it again and I was like, God, you know, I, I could not build that bus for what it is for the price that he's asking. I just, there's no way. It's impossible for me to do that today. So I said, screw it, man. I called the guy, I wanna buy that bus. <laughs> and <laughs> me and my wife drove up to Idaho and we harvested this bus and here it is. As far as the community goes, Community's tight. I mean, when people need any assistance and with so social media out there right now, I mean, we could put out in the middle of, we could be broke down in the middle of nowhere and just put, hey, we're broke down here. And you'll have people come from nowhere, just out of the shadows and show up to help and assist. Get you back on the road. And I'm sure you guys have experienced that multiple times, you know, being on the road yourselves. Um, but you know, once again, we are talking Volkswagens, they break down their old vehicles, you know, we're working on 50 plus year old cars and, uh, but you know, we do our best to keep them as dependable as possible and get you from A to B hopefully and back to A. Thanks for watching guys. We really hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more about our Volkswagen build and our Around the World expedition, you should probably subscribe so you don't miss out on what we're up to. Hit that notification bell icon. We have a long way to go and a lot of content to share with you guys. So we'd love for you to join us. Until next time, happy travels.